questions for Keyshawn. Thank you, Sean. Um, I guess just start us off, like what's what's practice been like the last couple of days? Obviously, you guys are coming off a, a couple of tough, tough losses. What's what's the mentality and, and focus been like? Uh, the mentality has just been that we know we're capable of and we know what it takes to get to where we want to be and that the focus and the detail has to improve. So that's been the whole key of practice and our whole mentality. Team came into, you know, the game against Louisville, averaging like 41 points a game. That's been held down the last two weeks to just 21 each game. What do you think things have kind of gone awry? Uh, just, um, like I said, the detail and execution hasn't been up to par that is typically is. So we struggle in terms of just small, letting the small things become big problems. Uh, it false starts, taking care of the ball. So a lot of things, drop passes, wrong assignments, miss assignments. It's just the smaller details that typically we can get by on just has a lot. We've been turning to bigger problems and we haven't been able to get by. So. Uh, as a receiver room, especially Saturday against NC State, you guys as a whole made some miraculous catches. You know, do you take, can you build on some of those things and, and move forward based upon that? Or, or is it still too much of a, a downer having to come out of, with the loss there? I mean, every game is going to be good things you can you can view and bad things that you see. And, you know, sometimes the good things are more personal, you know, to like a good catch, like, but that's more of the achievements that you keep inside, you know, this team first aspect and, you know, sometimes you got to put your bigger personal achievements aside for the sake of the we instead of the me. What was it like seeing the catch that Taylor made and ends up kind of just sprawling? I mean, you, you both play the slot. What does it take to, to bring in a catch like that? A lot of focus, a lot of work behind the scenes, and just one and more than the other person. And, uh, you know, we talk a lot, and that was definitely a spark for the group, the receiver room, that a big catch like that, a good play like that. So, you know, it's it's big. It's a big momentum. But, uh, you know, sometimes it can get overshadowed with the outcome of the game. We'll turn it over to Zoom here. Hey, Key, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, talking about the, the detail-specific problems that you guys have had on offense, is that something that – you can see during the week this week to know it's been solved or do you, does it have to happen in a game for you to know that you guys have worked those things out? Uh, the, the problems that are, the smaller details that are occurring is things that we know and we're good enough to fix overnight. But it goes through a lot of execution throughout the week and it's only been the first day of practice. And today was a good, a great start to fixing those problems but we have to finish out the week strong and go into Saturday strong. So, Are the problems different from the Louisville game to the NC State game? I wouldn't know. They're not different. It's the same minute details in terms of um, pre-snap penalties, taking care of the ball, missed assignments, just really small things that a lot of people wouldn't notice, but we know, and you know, that's what we got to fix. Given the way the game has gone against Carolina the last two years, uh, is is there any extra motivation going into this one? Uh, the motivation is just this is the most important game to have, that we are playing this season as of right now, and we want to do whatever it takes to win that game. That that's the motivation we all need, and that's all all it's going to take. Did you watch last year's game in film review to get ready for this one? We definitely take some peaks at the last few uh, last game for a couple of years. Was did that conjure up any poor memories? Yeah, but we gotta take in the good with the bad, and we know it shows that we're capable of playing, we're capable of winning that game. And if we do what it takes and we just play our game, then we we can win that game. Hey, hey Sean, yeah. is there any uh, concern about? Going into this game, and once you get into the game, any concern about being overly prepared or overly hyped because of the last two losses and and trying not to make those same mistakes? Uh, we want to come in the game and play with a lot of emotion. You know, we want to be the team that we're we're devoted. And we want to win like really really bad. But like Clausen says, we we want to play with emotion, not emotional. We're to the point where 
it causes us to have the penalties, the unsportsmanlikes, and the unnecessary roughness that can cost us a game. We want to play with a lot of emotion, a lot of heart, but we don't want to play emotional. We, we need to play under control. But, you know what I'm saying, in between the whistle, that's when we can play with a lot of emotion. Do you think that was some of the problems the last couple of weeks playing emotional? Uh, I would say it was a it was one of the problems. Uh, at times we got too emotional. We got caught up in the in the feud and going back and forth with players and opposing players that we typically try to stay away from. But it's just one of the minute problems out of everything else that's going on. Okay, is do you think there'll be any lead that's, that's safe on Saturday? Any lead? Any lead that could be safe. I mean, uh, you guys have had a three touchdown lead on UNC in the second half over the last two years. I mean, no lead is too big, right? Yeah, we know from experience the past two seasons that uh, there's no foot off the gas at any point of the game. They they have a great offense and they can execute at a high level just as well as we can. So we know if we get up, when we get up, we have to stay up and the drive and the momentum can't go down at all. Okay, the stats say that Carolina has been better defensively the last four or five games than they were in the first four or five. Do you see anything in looking at film that they're going differently? Um, Not really. I mean, as the season progresses, the team should get better. And, of course, a good program, that's where they're going to do is progress and get better over the season. So they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. And we just got to do what we're supposed to do. Conversely, does does that is that a little salty to say, given what the offense was in the first seven games for y'all and what it's been the last two weeks? Not really, because we still know who we are. We're, we're we're deep down. We know what we're capable of. We just haven't been executing to the level that we can, and it's, it's hurt us. But we know that we can definitely operate at that level. That's all set. All right, thanks, Keith. Appreciate y'all guys.